the podcasting space has long needed Google to come through and create a native podcasting app for Android. We're almost there. We're going to talk about it on this episode of Podcastification. My name is Kerry Green, and I am the Client Happiness Guy at PodcastFastTrack.com, and this is Podcastification. This show is all about podcasting, how to do it, how not to do it, best practices, interesting news items that have to do with the realm of podcasting, and who knows what else. And I'm trying to do it all with a little bit of fun and some information to help you get a show going, keep yours going, or make it better. And if you like what's going on here on the show, I would appreciate it, oh, so appreciate it, if you could leave a rating or review on iTunes. You can find out how to do that at podcastfasttrack.com slash review. That's enough of that kind of stuff. Let's get you podcastificated right away. All right, in the world of podcasting, as most of you know, Apple has been the big player for a long, long, long time. One of the things that points that out to us is that worldwide, more people by a long shot own and use Android phones than Apple phones. It's just the way the stats are. However, it's almost exactly opposite when it comes to podcast consumption through smartphones. The vast majority consume their podcasts on Apple devices. Now, why is that? I believe there's one simple reason. It's because Apple has long had a native way for you to listen to podcasts on their devices. And by native, I mean it's built into the device. The podcasting app comes in every Apple device. Google, who's really the ones behind Android, has never done that. I mean, they've tried a few things. They tried some older podcast players that just were pieces of junk. They've tried Google Play, you know, integrating it into that, which if you've tried to listen to podcasts on the Google Play app, I mean, it's really clunky and hard to find podcasts. So for quite a while, there have been many voices in the podcasting industry that have been asking Google to create a native Android app for podcasting. And over the last few months, we've been seeing, this is uh, June of 2018, we've been seeing Google taking steps in that direction. First of all, we discovered that Google had kind of secretly been integrating a podcast app of sorts into Android devices kind of through Google search. They were rolling out this thing kind of quietly behind the scenes so that if you searched using the Google app for the name of your podcast, for instance... If your podcast was set up appropriately, once it came up and you scrolled down, you would see some of your episodes there with a little play button and just below it, a more episodes thing. You can try this on any Android device. And what you would notice is it would pull up a little window that enables you to subscribe to that show. Now, where are you subscribing to it? Well, it's right there in your phone slash browser, so to speak. And there's a little icon at the top that looks like a little skinny stick person with radiating ears out the side. No, it's really the, the RSS feed kind of a thing that's been changed into a logo. You can click on that and see your subscriptions. Now, that was already baked into the search slash Android app behind the scenes. And we didn't even know it. And it's become known in the last few months. But now Google has announced all of that has been transitioned into what they are calling Google Podcasts. It's an actual app that can be downloaded onto the phone. Now, that's another step in the right direction. It's Google getting into the podcasting game. Now, right now, as I'm looking at it, there's 4,887 reviews of the podcasting app so far, and it's only got three and a half stars out of five possible. And as I read through them, there are some glitches, which is always the case with the new app. So there are things that Google obviously needs to keep working on. But this is a huge step in the right direction. What I would like to see happen next is that this podcasting app, first of all, is refined and enhanced and made better, but then comes on every Android device already installed, just like Apple does. When that happens, when people who know nothing about podcasting see on their phone 
just like you would with the various uh, NFL app that maybe comes on your Android phone or the Amazon app that comes on your Android phone. They would see another app already installed called Google Podcast. That would perhaps make them curious and they would start exploring the world of podcasting, which is only going to be a gain for every single one of us. And so I just wanted you to know about this as something that Google's been working on and let you know, you also can set up a link now to your actual podcast on Google Podcasts so that you can include that in your show notes or in your episode description, like you will find on this episode of the podcast. If you swipe right or left on your smartphone app, you will find the description and you'll see I'm going to have a link there to my podcast on Google Podcasts so that you could subscribe through Google Podcasts straight through that link on my description. But if you're wanting to see it on the website, you can go to podcastfasttrack.com slash 108 and you'll be able to see that link as well. If you want to know how you can actually set up your own link to your show in the Google Podcasts app, it's very easy. There is a very long and convoluted URL to get to it. So I'm just creating a short link for you so you can easily get there. It's podcastfasttrack.com slash Google Podcasts, all one word. And what it's going to do is take you to the actual Google Podcast Publisher tools where you can drop in your link, your feed URL, hit the generate button, and it's going to create a link for you that you can then put in your description, your show notes, wherever you want to put it to link to your podcast in the Google Podcast app. Now, if someone does not have the Google Podcast app, it's going to take them to the download page and they can install it onto their Android device. If they do have the podcast app, it should open up right there in the app on their device. You can also on that same page, drop in your feed URL in a second little field and preview your podcast in the Google search results and in the Google app. So this is a great step forward. As I said, it's still not exactly what I want it to be, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And I'm predicting, along with many people in the podcast space, this is not original with me. I'm predicting that when this is native on Android devices, meaning it comes on the phone when people receive their phone, the podcasting space is going to have another explosion of growth because people on Android who until now have found it cumbersome to have to go find an app and then figure out how to use the app and then figure out how to find a podcast they're interested in and then have to figure out how to subscribe to that podcast all through a third-party app are no longer going to have many of those barriers in the way. And they are going to be jumping on this like white on rice. I'm telling you, this is going to be cool. Hello? So Google Podcasts, what do you think about that? I think this is obviously, I think, I mean, I've raved about it this whole episode. I think this is a great step in the right direction. I would love to receive your feedback about what you think about the Google Podcasts app at the stage it's at. If you've used it, I would love to hear feedback from you about your user experience and what changes you think need to be made. And we can hopefully share some things on social media, share some things directly with the Google team, and we can get Google the help they need to understand the user experience and make changes. So that's all the time we have for this episode. That's really all I have to say about the Google Podcast app. And you know what time it is. It's time for you to go out and make it a podcastificating day. This show is brought to you by Podcast Fast Track, where my team provides professional podcasting services without the time suck. Full production, editing, and show notes, all in one monthly subscription package. You can find out more at podcastfasttrack.com. Now go out and make it a podcastificating day. Audio editing and show notes by podcastfasttrack.com. Get 15% off your first month by mentioning this show.